Okay, um, I'm back. Hey, everybody. Actually, let's just let's just cut this music off for now. Um, I just had a quick snack, and I've got a bit of coke. It's the only drink really out in the house. I'm not really a coke drinker, honestly. I I, I just don't enjoy the flavor as much, and I just, it just feels gross and a little bit. Mm. Why? Why is someone sending me here? I'm just I'm just on my Twitter. Because I'm going to retweet out the, um... Going to retweet out the, uh, the stream. Um... Okay. I'm going to say... We're moving on to Void... At Void Breach... Now. For some classic adventure game fun. Okay. Tweet is retweeted. Um, Alright, let's get into this game. Uh, and I will put it... I need, I'll need to put it on this one, actually. Um, game capture. Oh. Oh, gosh. Uh, are we just jumping right into it? It's making a teeth-brushing noise. Okay, and uh, let's just uh, center that and put it down here. Okay, and I've got to update the stream information actually. Um, Back to the 80s. That's, that's what the title is going to be. Void Breach. And then let's put it as Adventure Saturday. Ooh, it's Saturday. Uh, I don't think Void Breach actually has a, a category on this, so I'm just going to leave it like that and uh, update the information as I can. Okay, they've got to get rid of brick building. Alright. Alright. Is it the King Quest like I was talking about in the last stream? Yes, it is! Oh, okay, no problem, Tony Tiger. You take care. Alright, now that we've got this all sorted, we can get into this. Uh, so, 358 days after the first discovery of a stable space-time wave which opened a pathway to another world. 225 days after my reckless experiment that resulted in the disappearance of the research crew. Yeah, we're playing something now, RSDJ. Um, <clears throat> and my daughter. 225 days of guilt and grief. What's this? Hmm. An automatic notification from the computer lab. It's happening again. A new stable wave has been detected. That's incredible. Could it be the same one? This is my chance to bring my daughter back. Make things right. I have to get to the lab. Look, it's getting dark out there. This is loud. Um, let's take this down a little bit. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> let's go. Thankfully, traffic was light, and I got there here super quick. Well, let's see what the what the computer's detected. Alright, so we can walk around. Um, yep. Hmm. Let's see. How do I interact with things? Is there like a specific uh, way of doing that or? Major Space Quest 2 vibes. I, I, yeah, that's... Um... Oh, oh, you got to scroll. Okay, I see. <clears throat> Thank you. For hints you're here. Oh, yes, I... Are you uh, Are you the dev, Auli? Because um, I know you said you would, you would uh, join in. Um, according to the readings, 
A space-time wave has been detected. You, unusually, it hasn't collapsed yet. The signature is the same one my daughter investigated. It's the same exact wave that ripped her and her team from the lab. Okay. The resonance chamber. Sampled readings can be processed here. Particles trapped in the wave can then be swept to high energies. Thank you for the key for this game, by the way, then. Um, I'm really excited to give it a go. Right, let's see. I must sample the wave first using the console. Is that the console? Oops, I keep clicking on that. Okay, that's the console. Okay, I've sampled the wave in the resonance chamber. The reading should appear on the mo chamber's monitor. I've set the door to lock. Unlocking it led to disaster last time. All right, and um, yes, this is definitely the same wave as before. My own Moby Dick of sorts. Now, if only I could modulate the phase, I may learn more about it. This is odd. I'm detecting several stable waves. Their patterns shouldn't overlap, but they seem to do just that. The main wave function is collapsing. I've got to stop it. No, no, I'm losing it. Come on, something, just, something should work. Oh, God. What is that? What's going on? Oh, no, the rip. It's happening again. This heat is becoming unbearable. This is actually unsettling. Um, what is that thing? What happened? Where am I? These trees are so strange. Is this what happened to my daughter? Could she still be here, alive? I must find out. Can I, uh... That's a peculiar rock formation. I think someone began to sculpt it, then never made more than rudimentary progress. Hmm. This rock is cold to the touch. What's this? I don't understand. Is that like a picture of a, a character's daughter? What the? It's a wolf! A new bird in the cage. Man, it's been a while since I've seen a new face around here. What on earth do you mean? You're a prisoner here. We all are. The others may have forgotten they were, or they refuse to accept the truth and pretend they're free. It's a wolf man! You're telling me this world is a prison, then? The sooner you accept the truth, the better. And don't be like the others. Make sure you remember what the entity did to you. Who's this entity? Why would it do that? You're asking a lot of questions. No one really knows why the entity does what it does. I need to find my daughter. Here's a picture of her. Have you seen her around? Picture of her daughter. Yeah, eventually we can access through the space bar key, our middle mouse key. Thank you. Sorry, can't say that I have. I'd love to stick around here, but I'm famished and I just caught the sniff of her hair. See you around. What a nice guy. Hmm. What can I look at? There's a fountain in the middle of the park. There's a park then. Okay. See you around, Wolfman. Nice to know you. Um, let's have a little explore. Approaching the forest, it's eerily dark with tendrils of light slithering through the canopy. I like that phrasing. Um, just love the word tendrils. It's an excellent word. Uh, what's this? A single wagon wheel leans against the tree. It's very grey here. I like it. That's a big gravestone. Oh, can I not look at it? That's hardly practical. Ah, there we go. There's an inscription on the tombstone. It reads, Here I do the rest of the crystal witch. Uh, uh, here I do rest... Okay, never mind. Let me read that again. It reads, Here I do rest the crystal witch. Slipped in the drizzle and fell in the ditch. My sister of the ways is not around. So her as you as see, she is ever bound. No one is searching. I'll never be found. Speak my name in my hall of reflections. And I'll receive my most cherished possession. Hmm... That's got to be a hint for something, right? Is there anything here I can... I guess this is a dead end. Um, but that's like a hint for something, I assume, so... Hey, you! Psst, over here! What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Uh, it's just I've never seen a talking stump before. I have, in King's Quest Six. I'm no stump chump. I'm Bart the Almighty, the toughest bark in the wood. Bart the Amazing, the ceiling that could. <laughs> Okay, I get it. You're special. Could you tell me if you have seen a young woman pass through here? Pass through here? No one passes through here, for I'm Bart, the catcher in the night. I think I've heard enough of you. No, if you don't mind, could you retract your um 
arm like branch so I may pass? This is my road, my forest. Why don't you come closer so I can give you a proper hug? They don't call me Bart the Affectionate for nothing, you see. I'll have to find a way to deal with this stuff before I can advance. Oh god! Weird FTW is raiding with a party of three! Welcome, Weird. Um, I finished the uh, Lego build and we're now starting on uh, Void Breach. Thank you. I, I'm really happy with my with my red um, Grim Fandango red theme. I'd rather not get anywhere near that stump. He seems ready to swipe his arm at me. Um, can I save the most recent checkpoint? Save because I want to see what happens. Oh, is it, is no deaths. Okay, never mind then. I was going to see if there's a possible death. How are you doing, Drifting Light? Nice to see you. Talking stump that will always remind me of Zoom Beanies. Speaking of Zumbinis graphically insane, no deaths. Well, that's, easy. that's a good thing to remember, because if there's no death, then it means I, uh, I don't have to worry about that as much. You're feeling a little better. I didn't... Were you Were you ill? I think you might have mentioned that. But anyway, um, I was saying graphically insane. Funny you mentioned Zumbinis. Um, I added a new bit donation yesterday at... I think it's 70 bits? Uh, which is Zumbinis themed. Um... And no one's used it yet, so we'll have to, if you guys want to find out what that's like. Yeah, I jumped that far, okay. There's a tentacle! Still not back in the rest, but you're doing better. That's good to hear. I hope, I wish you a full recovery soon. There's a writhing tentacle under the ledge. I want to touch it. I don't really want to touch the tentacle. Strange. It's drawing towards me by the sound of my footsteps. Ooh. Nasty. Go down. Wait, is that? Is that like a? God Almighty! This tree looks like it's swallowed an octopus. All oh, this octopus looks like it swallowed a tree. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Cthulhu tree, yeah. Can I do anything go around here? No. Is there a particular system you use to make this game, Owly, or is it like um? Like, your own system. Is it like a AGS or something else, or...? Cthulhu with a green afro. <laughs> that's, a, that's a mermaid. A naked woman with a tail sits on, on top of the seasick. They're called mermaids. Game Maker Studio 2 for coding. All oh, right, interesting. Can I... Is that a speak? <laughs> oh! Hello there, man of the land. You, you have a tail. I wouldn't be much of a mermaid without one, would I? It's just that I've never seen one before. Clearly I'm far from home. I'm utterly out of my mind. <laughs> Titty streamer. Hi, it's a ma. What an opportune time for you to come in. Um, honey, we are all out of our minds here. It's the cherry on the cake. How do you mean? Oh, there's the casual insanity that grows in everyone. And then there's the sea which you stole my, my blue pearl from me. Okay. Hey, O'Neill. Now that's the sort of insanity that is unpardonable. <clears throat> I don't follow. You tailless men are so clueless. As my beloved sister always said, she was a crystal witch, not to be confused with the thieving sea witch. Without my blue pearl, I weep from dawn till dusk. You can't imagine how tiresome that is. I, I, I probably would be very tiring, actually, yeah. I'm sorry you've lost your treasure. It's more than treasure. It's my key to the ocean. You see now? Yes, I think so. Actually, no, I don't. I lost my place in the, at the ocean floor when she took my pearl. How I miss my beloved rocks and kelps. Now I'm confined to the surface. This tan has ruined my complexion. Well, you do look a little bit jaundiced, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I'd help if I could, I'm, but I'm looking for my daughter. Have you seen her? Here's a picture. Can't say that I have. It could be the entity that has her. Unfortunately, the wisest of creatures... Sorry, fortunately, the wisest of creatures lives under sea. You might want to visit the ocean floor and ask around. I bump into good old Neptune. He can be handy. You mean Neptune, the god of the sea, Neptune? God of the sea, Neptune. God of vanity, more like. Flaunting his hair to the way he does. <laughs> Looking for my daughter. Oh, it's Silent Hill all over again. Oh, no. Cheryl. I don't know if that'll be helpful. Tell you what. I'll grant you the gift of underwater breathing if you promise to return my pearl. All right. You can make me breathe underwater? Really? 
<laughs> just a little Margie's umpa lumpa orange. Yeah, she's got the green hair already. Sure I can. I can turn you into an octopus. Awesome. I love it. Um, under the waves, you'll be able to swim and breathe. The denizens of the sea will see you through the magic, though. Is that a deal, then? I'll do my best. But if that sea witch is dangerous, I can't promise I'll be successful. <laughs> under the sea. Yeah. Oh, did you just kiss me? Maybe you'll be lucky. You have the look of my dead sister's admirer about you. Excuse me? Like... Like her, he was a practitioner of crystal sorcery. Now come closer. Let me kiss you. Mwah! Now you can safely step into deep water. I can't believe she kissed me. So can I can... Oh, wow! I'm a... I'm, I'm an octopus! <laughs> oh, wow. I love it. That's cool. By the looks of it, this shipwreck has been part of the ocean floor for a long, long time. I like the music, by the way. You yeah, become Jesus running over the water like that. Entering the shipwreck from a hole in the bow, I find no bodies inside. There's nothing of value in the storeroom, but on the bridge I find a music box. The handle turned and surprisingly plays a tune. I leave the wreckage wanting to spend no more time inside. I've taken the music box with me. Apparently I can open up my inventory with space. So I've got the music box and I've got... Oh, Okay, so you, it saves the last item that you used. Might as well have that up most of the time. Uh, well, actually, I'll just leave it for now. 10 out of 10 for playable octopus section. Ooh. What's this? There's a mural of an old face on, on a slab of rock. The image of Neptune, perhaps? Can I take it? There's nothing I can do with the mural. Okay, what about this? Is there something I can enter in there? Or is that just, uh, just a wall? No. I like the fish as well. Look at the, the way they're swimming. It's cute. Uh, anything to look at here? Ooh, there's something to look at here. There's a cave over there. Let's go then. Oh, hi. I don't think she'd appreciate it. Um, a man in the guise of an octopus. This was what Michelle is doing. Her standards for servants are clearly plummeting. Oh, I'm not- I'm no one's servant. My apologies for intruding. So you're not here for my blue pearl? I'll, uh, here's the thing. The mermaid accuses you of stealing it. It was never hers to begin with, octopus man. Well, the truth is I'm here looking for my daughter. The mermaid said she could help. She's using you. My shell never helped anyone. She only ever cares to help herself. Could you have a look at this picture? This is my daughter. I'm just underwater and taking a picture out, apparently. <clears throat> I won't question it. <laughs> The mermaid said a thing called the Entity might be keeping her somewhere. I'm sorry, I haven't seen her. Personally, I doubt that the Entity exists. I've never seen it with my own two eyes, only heard stories. And the stories tend to be made up. I see. Here's my problem. I kind of promised the mermaid I'd bring back her pearl in exchange for allowing me to breathe underwater. I can't return empty-handed. What will you trade for it? Nothing. Nothing. Really. Is it really that valuable? Oh, I see the Ziploc bag. Yeah, of course. Is... Only the most dazzling thing under the sea. Oops, I didn't read that. I clicked too soon. Um, yes. If you could find something as pretty as the pearl, or even prettier, I'd be willing to trade it. Something as pretty as the pearl for the vain witch. Okay, I'll get it for you. I'm taking my glasses off. Um, exit. Interesting. Uh, so there's... Can I... Oh. I, I can only go... I, I like the little arrows, actually. That helps. Um, that helps me understand which ways I can go. Nice little quality of life feature. I've entered an underwater cave. The octopus magic has faded as I drop, raise my head above the water and on myself again. Droplets trickle down the walls, tinkling into the pool of water. Hmm. Zounds! <laughs> right click if I quickly giving the walk command. Okay. I like that you put a zounds in there. Very nice. Um, this is the biggest string of gold I've ever seen. Can I take it? I assume I can't take it. I can't pick up this chunk of gold. Yeah, it's too big. I think any uh, King's Quest fan would appreci appreciate a good zounds. I know I do. 
Seafloor elevated is much closer to the surface of the water here, with daylight dappling in the seabed. There is a castle to the southeast. Maybe I can tell her about Mask of Eternity influence. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um... I, re I remember that line being in Mask of Eternity, uh, but I, I, it comes from Ki Alexander and Kingsway 6 first, doesn't it? Um, hello. You look like an interesting fellow to speak to. Oops. Um, eh, eh, there we go. Who are you? What are you doing in my home? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't expect anyone to actually live here. I'll be taking my leave. Wait, wait, don't scamper off so quickly. You're a man of the land, aren't you? He must be with those two legs of yours. Tell me, how are the how are things in the land? Has the evil gone? Is the witch king dead? I no no I don't know. I'm new here. I come from a different land. A traveler then. So if I'm searching for my daughter, she's a land walker like myself. Have you seen anyone like that? No, I can't say that I have. But I've heard a rumor that the witch king has captured some travelers and imprisoned them in the dungeon of his castle. Could be your daughter is among them. Could you tell me where to find his castle? I've never walked the land, so I can't give directions. All I know is beyond the river of blood that corrupts the sea. That's nice. I like, I like the river the river of blood that corrupts the sea. That's a good sentence. You think you're going there, having a look at the place? Yeah, I may do that, yeah. If there's a chance, I'll find my daughter. A mad idea. But if you do go there, could you do me a favor? The Witch King has ransacked my home a while back. If you find anything in his castle that looks like it could, it's come from the sea, it's mine. Bring it back to me, and I'll see if any of the sea creatures have heard about your daughter. If I find anything that looks like it's coming to the sea, I'll bring it back to you. Thanks for your help. All right. Okay. Can I go down? I don't remember. <laughs> if you go over there, could you get something from the vending machine? I wouldn't mind a soda. Sure thing, old man. Oh, I can't, I can't leave yet, can I? Um, I've got to find something to give to. Uh, I wonder if I can tell her about the, the gold, or maybe the music box. Would you like this? Uh, no. Never mind. Um, I can leave. I just need to talk to the mermaid again. Okay. Fair enough. Warm drink obtained. Nice. And look at my pearl back. Still working on it. You told me you were the crystal witch's sister. Can you tell me what her name was? My sister, she was Lobelia. She was clever, you know. She knew the names of all the toads of the swamp. I miss her deeply. Oh, Lobelia. Um. Okay. I guess I can just go then. Hmm. Need to find something pretty to trade. I'm just gonna go up there. Oh, no, I can't. Is this something I can look at? No. Hmm. I, I can't get across there. I need to figure something out in that regard. And then there's the the, uh, the guy up here, that the stump. That one that you buy. Might as well get over with him. Why oh, the little falling leaves? That's cute. What warm drink have you got, by the way, Drifting Light? Anything interesting, or is it a, like a, a tea or coffee? Hold on. Here I do rest the crystal witch. Seek my cherished name in the Hall of Reflections. Aha! Aha! I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay. So we, we've, we've got the name Lobelia. Um, we just need to find the Hall of Reflections, which I assume could be... Um, that, um, the place with the gold thing, at a guess. It's, 
right over here. I need to uh, speak to this thing. That's hardly practical. Um, I can't pick it up. Can I speak to this bit? Is this the Hall of Reflection? This is like a... Hmm. Hmm. Try interacting with a tentacle. Okay. I'll have a look. So I know I can get a treasure possession. Um, I guess we need to interact with the tentacle then, don't we? Maybe he can talk to us. Talking tentacles aren't exactly a new thing in adventure games, uh, so not entirely out of the realms of possibility. That's the wrong way. I like I like the Cthulhu tree. It's cute. The music is very nice. Did you compose the music, uh, Ali, or, or was it someone else? Hello, how are you doing? No answer, but the tentacle seems to react to the sound of my voice, pulling towards me. Hmm. Oh, maybe. I saw the right ear, but I just saw the music box of the tentacle itself. It'll do me no good. I'll throw it to the other side. Here we go. I found out the music box. This might actually work. I did the trick. The tentacle lunged itself with the playing music box. Getting lodged under a rock. I can now try and cross the chasm on it. Nice. Poor tentacle, but, uh... This looks interesting. Someone else. I tell him I enjoyed it. Nice. I do, I do like it, actually. An ominous castle looms over me. Patches of wall crumbling away. A red river surrounds it, and the land is as desolate as the world it's in its beginning. I wouldn't want to enter it unless I had a very good reason. I have a good reason, I think. Is this skeleton? So what brings you here? Guess I'm not going to get an answer. <laughs> oh, actually, I want to... Let's examine this. Can't read the inscription. It's not written in any language I know. Oh, what's this? Got it. Swords? The decorative swords are too heavy to lift. I don't think they were ever meant to be wielded. Um, so I got a bottle of something. Hold on, can I inspect it? It's a bottle of whale milk. Whale milk? Right, okay. Sure, whale milk. All the dolls I come across have been locked or jammed. I followed the staircase to the spire. Who's this guy? Like others, you have fallen from the sky. I don't remember falling. What is this place? I could say this is a world out of bounds, a world unset. But what would it really tell you? Not much. We are the undesirables, the ones loathed in dreams. I still don't understand. I was told that Witch King lives here, that he may have my daughter locked up. Do you know anything about that? The Witch King is gone, and his prisoners have run away. He was banished by the Entity for plotting against her. The Entity? I keep hearing about that. Who is it? The Entity is the one who dreams. She is watchful from beyond the bounds. Uh, the whole universe is her crystal ball. She sounds powerful indeed. I don't want to run into her. Tell me more about yourself, If your, your role here. I... I was the Witch King's most trusted servant. His plumber. <laughs> you? A plumber? I shouldn't be surprised at that, really. With all the things I've seen here. I don't presume you have seen the Witch King's prisoners have, have gone. Where the, witch where the Witch King's prisoners have gone. No, but I sense you may need to take this on your quest into finding your daughter. Here, take my plunger. Since I'm out of work, I won't need of it anymore. I won't have need of it anymore. Thank you, gargoyle plumber. I love adventure games because you can just have like a gargoyle plumber and that's just like, yeah, that's a character. Let's go for it. Um, this is a dungeon area. Can I speak to you? I can't see what that would accomplish. No, I'm sorry. Aw, <laughs> you get a little smile. Two skeletons are propped up against the wall in a small alcove. They have no clothes on, but there's a backpack beside them. It has the logo of my lab on it. Oh God. These are two of the scientists who have been pulled into this world when the first rip happened. Is one of them Evelyn? There's no way of telling. I have to pull myself together and keep looking for her. Inside the bag, there's a mushroom in a plastic container. They must have found it in this world before they perished. 
There's a hand, handwritten note besides it. It reads, A moldy mushroom. It killed our fruits and vegetables within seconds when it came in contact with them. I've taken the moldy mushroom. <laughs> this guy is ride or die, I tell you what. <clears throat> Red plungers are usually actually meant for sinks, while black plungers with the extra cup at the bottom are meant for toilets. I did not know that. Thank you for that plunger fact. <laughs> There's a, a skeleton sitting in a cage. One of the Witch King's victims, no doubt. Oh, hello. Wrong plunger then. <laughs> I must be careful of the beast that propped up against the wall. It's t huge and sharp. Grr, it was late. Too late. She's gone. Who's gone? Priscilla, my radiance. I came as soon as I heard the Witch King was preparing to flee, fearing the wrath of the entity. I came to free her, take her home, but I was too late. She had already gone. I'm sorry. I'm also looking for someone who may have been kept in this dungeon. Where do you think all the captives have gone? I don't know. Oh, the Witch King might have taken them with him to his hiding place. I don't know where that can be. What do you think is beyond that door over there? Have you checked? Only mold and cobwebs. Cobwebs and mold. Whoever you're looking for, they're not there. I see. If I learn where everyone has gone, I'll let you know. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'm going to rest for a while. Rushing to get here made me tired. All right, buddy. You take care. I'll uh, I'll move on then. Can't open it. It's jammed. Right. There's nothing beyond the the corner but death. The freak of musty bones is overpowering. Is there anything I can use to get through this door? I don't think so. Hmm. Alright, I think I've explored all I can really explore here for now. So let's go back this way. Actually, no, that's the way I came in. This way. Oh god. Hello. <clears throat> the stone face that stares back at me is monstrous. Part man, part beast. Certainly angry looking. The mouth and eyes are big enough for something to be hidden there. He more looks like he's kind of in discomfort, but uh... Yeah. Let's have a look at the mouth and eyes then. Okay, can I speak to him? Hmm. There's nothing hidden in the eye sockets. Wait, there's something in the mouth. It's a bone. I'm no expert, but it doesn't look like it came from a human. Now what should I do with it? I've taken the bone. All right, we got a bone. I don't know what we can use the bone for. Maybe we can use it to wrench the door open. Ooh, a cave. I like these dinosaur skeletons. That's cool. Ooh. Who could this be? A couple of big ice crystals placed in a slab as, as if for a ritual. I can see my reflection in them. How exhausted I look. These look like a cave paintings. The one on the left looks like an eye. The one that's to the one on the right, I'm not sure. A demon's face? This must be the... I know your name. These must be your crystals, Lobelia. Aha! Got it. What's this? Oh, actually, that's the cave paintings again. That's, we found the uh, Hall of Reflections. It's too cold to climb higher, I'd rather not. Which way? Is it this way to go out? To leave? <laughs> Must be. Yep, yeah, here we go. Now we've got this, we can give this to... Um, Give this to the sea witch. I can talk to the big tree. Can I? Ooh, I would like to do that. I saw you fall from above. I I must have. Where am I? In a place and moment and set out of bounds. I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. The last thing I remember was the lab and the heat. An intense wave of heat. She brought you here. The entity brought all of us here. The entity. Nearer. Is that a person? Nearer, out of bounds. 
I don't understand. I don't give my daughter. Here's a picture of her. Have you seen her? Visit Nera's garden and be careful of her minions in the dark woods, where the trees create the shadows and the cold and, the sh and shun the sun. Okay. A very dramatic guy, but I like him. Does the uh, does the main character have like a little goatee, by the way, or is that his hair from the the side? Yeah, look at the hair from the side. It's from from the, like the uh, the side view. It kind of looks like he's got a little goatee. I have to become an octopus again. Not here. Um, we need to go into the cave. I love the music and the underwater music. Actually, it's great. Uh, would you like this? Oh, what's this? Oh, whoa, what's this? Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> only one thing rivals the beauty of the pearl: your own. Ooh, nice, nice one, buddy. You got it. <laughs> With this mirror, you can always gaze at it. Appealing to a vanity. I like it. <laughs> hmm, let me have a look. Oh my, I knew I was beautiful, but I have such wondrous eyes. Does it mean I can have the pearl now? Yeah, you can have the pearl. <laughs> I'm far more enamored with what I see in the mirror. Damn. That's that's some vanity right there. Uh, but if it works, it works. <laughs> the actual solution. <laughs> Alright, I have your pearl, my dear. My blue pearl, you brought it back to me. I'm so happy. I can't believe the sea which was willing to part with it. This is a miracle. There was something she was even more fond of than the pearl. Her own beauty. Sadly, I'm no closer to finding... <laughs> again, Emma. <laughs> Sadly, I'm no closer to finding my daughter. Mm, this is very unfortunate. She may have... She might have travelled north. You could look for her there, but I'm afraid you... That, that would pose a major problem for you. Why? It means getting closer to the entity. Under normal circumstances, I keep very well away from that vengeful creature. If that is where I must go, so be it. You are certainly brave, despite having no tail, and a good father. Before you go, let me give you this parting gift. A strand of my radiant hair. Still haven't found Cheryl. God damn Cheryl. What are you supposed to do with 4,000 scarf points? I don't know. I need to I need to figure out some more tears for that. Be careful. A mermaid's hair is quite fiery. Hope you can handle the heat. I wonder if that's a hint for something. Well, we have some... Uh, we have that now. <clears throat> right, so what do we have? We have the bone, the picture, the hair, the milk. A uh, mushroom and a plunger. I'm gonna try going to the castle again because I think I might be able to wrench the door open with the bone, possibly. Might not be able to. Oh yeah, you can make a uh, grayscale um, <laughs> emote. Did that skeleton just move? I thought I saw the skeleton move. Am I seeing things? Huh. I don't know if I saw things there. <laughs> Just pretend you did that when you spoke the Cthulhu tree. <laughs> Thank you for the 150. Recall Cthulhu's words about the trees in the forest. Hmm. I will. <clears throat> Thank you for the 150 bits, Dragon Cat Man. Also, like I said, that there is a. There's a new uh, donation alert, a uh, bit donation alert at 70 bits, and no one's tested it yet. So, uh. Skellies don't move. Yeah, so I was seeing things then. Okay, never mind then. Just thought I'd try that just in case. Have a pizza party! <laughs> Thank you, Emma, for the 70 bits and the pizza party. Hey, you gotta test it. It's pizza time. Why did you do this? Because you are a lovely, kind gentleman. You want your bits I'm a back. I'm big boy now. <laughs> I want your bits back. They're mine now. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to that tree again so I can try and remember um, what what he said to me. What were you saying, Mr. Cthulhu Tree? Afro Cthulhu? They shun the sun. Hmm. Maybe the hair is what we need to get rid of the uh, the the guy then. Oh look, rocks. But thank you, Drifting Light, by the way, for the uh, the big boy now, 75 bits, and the, oh look, rocks, um, 90 bits. I am... Did I go up here before? I didn't, did I? Oh god! <laughs> I smell dinner, sweet tendons and liver juices. I don't, you know what, please don't eat me. I'm nothing but skin and bones, you wouldn't find me very appetizing. Uh, you're right about that. Have I oh god. <laughs> Have a pizza party. This guy's about to have a pizza party of my uh <laughs> Have a plenty of skin of bones. I desire something richer than that. Something kingly for a change. With a spark to it. I'm tired of eating the same thing for dinner. No offense. Ah, oh, none taken. <laughs> Get me something rich to eat. Food fit for a king. And I'll let you pass unharmed. Now go before I change my mind. Do you, are you a dog? Oh my god. Have a pizza party. <laughs> uh, thank you for the pizza parties, guys, and the 70 bit donations. You guys are amazing. <laughs> oh, that's a rodent. It's a giant rodent looking creature. With a with a gold and copper fur, it has eight legs. Orum Vorax, a gold eater. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> well, I know where he can find a feast. There's a big gold wad under that under in that cave underwater. Um. If I can go get that for him, he'd be sitting pretty. He'd be having a, an absolutely. He'd be eating for days. Now time to set this guy on fire. Hmm. Do I upload the raw MP4s of Shame Labs or do I make it a GIF and upload a MP3 separately? I make it um you can't actually upload MP4s to Stream Labs. Um so I use WebMs. So I convert MP4s to WebMs without the sound and then I upload the MP3 separately. So yeah, I, I do them separately. That's not right. I want the Santa hair. Fear me, wicked stump! Fear the light that you shun and detest! Make way! Fire-wielding devil! Oh, you can pass! Just quit whipping that thing at me! <laughs> We're just whipping this this poor tree stump with a... Uh, it's funny. A lot of leaves rotting on the florist floor. <laughs> Top of the morning, dear lady! Uh, that's funny. Chap say is it? Oh god! Uh, hi, doggy. You want a bone? There you go, boy. I think it's a pacify him or her. There we go. I love this uh, this house graphic. That's why I used it in my tw advertisement tweet because this this like that particular graphic is just such a great image. Uh, so yeah, I'm very into that. It's locked, of course. It is. Hmm. There was a fountain back in the park. Oh, yes, there was. Oh, you booked the flight. Nice, Emma. Look forward to seeing you uh, in August. Hey, we're because Coxcon's not on this year. We're um, we're we're making our own Coxcon. What do I do with this fountain then? Oh, okay. I found a key in the water. Thank you. <laughs> the Cox House. I still like Coxless Con. That's the one that I came up with. I know you hate it, but <laughs> I like it. That's a, no, this way. There we go. It fits. I've unlocked the door. Uh, I've used this, don't I? 
Mmm. There's nothing in the cabinet. I don't want to carry that around. Can I look at it? A painting of a black widow. I was never much of an arachnophile. The stuffed head of a majestic wolf. The owner of the mansion is probably an avid hunter. The head of a deer. A look of terror in its eyes. Mirror. Can I take this? I don't think I can, will I? I really don't want to carry that around. <laughs> I came up with it when I was drunk. That sounds about right. I probably did, didn't I? Ooh. Got it. What is that? I should probably check what I'm... Is that a pickaxe? Pickaxe is rather sturdy. That's a big frying pan. God, imagine the omelettes you can make with that. That's amazing. Uh, what is this? The head of a pig on a platter. Look at those writhing worms in its open mouth. Repulsive. No one tell David Cameron. Um, that's, a, that's an ear. That's a timely joke, right? <laughs> Pots, pans, and baking chicks. Nothing of interest here. No one tell Peter. Just don't tell Peter anything. They don't deserve to know. An ordinary looking fireplace. But is it, though? Is it an ordinary fireplace? That hearth is rather sooty. I don't want to touch it. Can I go this way as well? Okay, I can't. Try talking to it? Oh, that's a good idea. I should. I'm gonna, actually, you know, I'm gonna try talking to the wolf as well. It's highly practical. Okay, I can't talk to them. Just want to see if they're talkable as well. I'll try talking to. Try talking to the pig. Oh, the fireplace. Hello? Is anybody in there? I hear the voice of a child reverberate right down the chimney. Oh no! I'm not quite sure though. There's a child in there. Maybe if I use a plunger. I, <laughs> I was thinking on some like like proper LucasArts logic there. Um, little, <laughs> little Timmy stuck up the chimney! Oh dear. Oh. Timmy, remember that name. Oh god. <laughs> Thank you for the 150 bits. <laughs> is, that, is that the sound the child's making? Yeah, the child be like, oh. <laughs> the echo's perfect as well. <laughs> oh, the house is too big to carry around. Let's have a look though. A toy house. I had one as a kid. Whatever happened to it? Pendulum isn't moving. The clock stopped at 11.09. I wonder if that's a hint for something. Oh god! That's unsettling. Oh look! Rocks! <laughs> hey Timmy, what's in that chimney? Oh look! Rocks! <laughs> Thank you for the 90 bits. <laughs> Drifting light. Also, this is really creepy. Um, you're trespassing. Oh, I should probably have a... Your, I don't know how I do a, a ghostly child voice. You're trespassing. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're not mean like the others. I saw you give Ollie a treat. Ollie's my dog. Or was. He's so faithful. He's never left me. Even now with everyone gone. Are you alone here? I remember I had a family. But I'm slowly forgetting them. We were all together in the beginning. But they disappeared the night of the murder. Men came with daggers and pickaxes. And when the sun came out, I was no longer a boy. That's terrible. I miss my sister Abby plenty. It's lonely with no one to play with. I have no fun playing with any of my toys anymore. My name's Tim, by the way. There, it, it is Timmy! My god! <laughs> it is Timmy, guys! What's yours? Noah, I hope you join your family soon. They must miss you sorely, like you miss them. Thanks. I'd ask you to play a game with me, but it's getting dark. And the big shadows will appear soon. Oh god. I'm afraid of them. So I'll be going now. I know how, how scary the shadows can be. Goodbye, Tim. I see you, buddy. <clears throat> Interesting. What are these? Can I look at these? Oh. Toy wagon? Hmm. 
from walking around to an octopus to talking to a murdered kid. There, there is quite a nice bit of variety, isn't there? I don't know if there's anything else I can do here right now, is there? Hmm. Do I have any other major gold? I need to get that gold for the, uh, the rat thing, don't I? Yeah, I need to get some gold for... Wait, where did he come from? How do I get the gold? That's the question. What do I have? Maybe the plunger. Maybe that'll work there. Rats. We're rats. Don't forget the old sea man. Yes, you are right. The old man of the sea. Yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to him again and see what. See if he can remind us what we need to do. What's up, buddy? If I find anything that looks like it's come from the sea, this? That doesn't work. <laughs> Plunger. Mushroom? No. I don't have... Oh! Whale milk! My bottle of whale milk! You found it! Tell me! You fought to slay the Witch King in order to retrieve it? Ah, uh, no, I just found it on the table. As a matter of fact, the Witch King was nowhere around. The place was almost completely deserted. Ha! Huh, the coward! Well, just as well. Now about your daughter. I've sniffed around. An amphibian friend has told me that travelers like you arrived about a year ago. He last saw them in the jungle to the northwest looking for something. That jungle to the northwest? Well, if that's where I must go, I will. I have something more for you. A bag full of sea peppers, grown and cultivated in my very own garden. Sea peppers? Oh yes, my peppers are the spiciest, the hottest, the most tear-inducing fruit in all the 21 seas. One bite and you'll sweat like a pork for hours. They make your blood boil so much. Thank you! This guy, uh... Oh, he's kind of creeping me out. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that gold. Uh, no. That doesn't work. Hmm. Maybe this? Okay, I might be able to mine some gold now. Yes, I've done it. Pickaxe broke, but I managed to scrape off some small flakes. Nice! There we go. I'm thinking in too many, like, sort of like, classic adventure game solutions where you, something is slightly nonsensical, like a plunger to pull it off, but, um, I guess a pickaxe makes the most sense. So, uh, yeah. I should stick with that, really, shouldn't I? It's logical logic. Right. Hey, buddy. Um, I have something for you. Hey, I got some gold flakes. You wanted something kingly and rich with a spark to it. From where I come, only the rich eat these. Mmm, let me have a try. Oh, it's sparkly, all right. And crunchy. How delicious. You certainly delivered, old man. You may pass. Awesome. I hope he enjoyed his little meal there. Oh, there's something to pick up here. Got it. What is it, though? Is that fruit? This fruit has a very hard shell. I can't open it with my bare hands. Hmm. Oops. Anything to look at? Oh my god! Jesus, that actually kind of scared me. <laughs> Fresh meat! A severely decomposed woman with an appetite for human flesh. I am out of here. Right. Um, I don't know if we can get through there just yet, then. Unless we have something that could possibly be used. I don't know. But we got the, the fruit. Um, why was he so voluptuous? Hey, just because it, she's decomposing doesn't mean she can't be voluptuous. Don't judge. Good genes. What am I saying? Uh, let me just try and figure out what I need to be doing here. I think I need to figure out a way past her, obviously. Um, let me talk to Timmy again. Um, 
Never mind. There's no, I don't. There's nothing he's really after. Okay. <clears throat> what is this? Is this just anything worth looking at here? No. <clears throat> Can I, uh... Hmm... Hmm... Hmm, what do I do here? I wonder if there's anything I can do with... That's hardly practical. Anything I can throw into the water to, uh, distract her? Perhaps someone may assist with the shell. Right, yes, that's a good thought. Yes. I will I will have a look. Who could assist me? Could can you assist me? No. Wait. Hey, yeah, no. Not you? Um Perhaps the mermaid? That doesn't work, no. Not the mermaid. Who seems like they'd be good at breaking a shell? That's what I need to figure out. Ooh, maybe the beast. Perhaps. Let's go find the beast. Can you help me? What's this? I'm having a problem opening this fruit. Could you give it a go? Seeing as you have such pointy teeth. No problem. Give it here. Oh. Oh, crunch. I did it, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Now that I've got this uh, crunched, the inside of the fruit is oily. It smells sweet like chloroform. I need to remain conscious. Better not sniff the oily powder. Maybe I can use this to knock the, uh... The, the zombie lady unconscious. Um... <clears throat> and get by her. You gonna keep Ocean's company for a bit? Okay, no problem, Drifting Light. You take care. Thanks for coming along. And hope you feel better soon. It sucks to be ill. So, yeah, I, I really hope it's sooner rather than later. Um, Which way do I need to go again? It's up here, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Oh, go. Whoop, wait. Stop. I've sprinkled the oily chloroform into the river. I should put the underwoman to sleep, I hope. There you go. I guess it's just, just, just this way then. Ooh. The wild bushes stretch deep into the jungle. Their berries smell like honeyed figs. Can I get some of them? I don't know if these berries are poisonous. That's eh, probably a good shot. Oh, I see you're a big fan of ancient ruins too. Hey, wolf man! Long time no see! I didn't know they were here. Well, I'll save the trouble of exploring them. I've already been inside. Huh? Wanna know what I found? Seven heads? Seven heads? Blimey, no. I found hieroglyphs carved into the wall. Some were too faded to be read, but the ones I could read said, Where the rain god is born and dies, there dwells a lord whose eyes hold a treasure. Where the rain god is born and dies. Hmm, interesting. I will remember that. What could that mean? Beats me. Was never good with riddles. Could be a trick of the entity to confuse us. My name is Darius, by the way. Bad manners on my part. Should have introduced myself properly sooner. And I'm Noah. I'm still looking for my daughter. I haven't found her, eh? That means the, ent could mean the entity keeps her close with to her. She lives in a garden full of gigantic vegetables. As big as an elephant. So when you see carrots four meters long, run for your life. The entity must be close. But if she keeps my daughter closer, I'll have no choice. Well, I've warned you, the entity is not to be tackled with. She's pretty mean. There, I caught the sniff of her hair again. Be seeing you, Noah. See you, Darius. I like him. 
Some chill guy. Can I enter this? Hmm. No, it just uh, tells me the, um, the inscription. I speak the name of my daughter to the pool. Her face shows in the water. She's in a dark room. I must find her. She looks frightened. Her face panic-stricken. I didn't actually mean to speak to that, but hey. The pool reflects the cat. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You guys mind terribly if I just go get a, a bit of water? A lot of dialogue reading this game and my throat's a bit hoarse. I will return in a very short amount of time. Staying hydrated. Always a good thing. If you haven't had any water recently, what are you doing? Get some water! Uh, the pool reflects the canopy in my face. I see my face age, turn grey and wrinkled. The canopy wither, turn brown, the leaves disperse. Does this pool show the future? Hmm. I wonder if I... I place my daughter's picture in the water. I see myself navigating a path in a dark cave and finding the exit. As I leave the cave, she approaches me, embracing me. Interesting. Why don't we put this in it? That's not going to be beneficial. Oh, okay. What about this? I don't know. Well, that's fine then. I don't think any items do anything. This Garthulu broadcast brought to you by water. Hold on. Water. It's good. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> What's that? The vines are heavy. I can't push them out the way. Uh, what? <laughs> German rubble brought to you by fruit. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. That's where I'm, I must have been subconsciously channeling that. Hmm. I wonder if I can use these to burn the, the vines. That doesn't work. Well, I'm sure there's something I can... <clears throat> Hit your left side. <laughs> I need to clip that. <laughs> Arthur's oh, such a sweet boy. I I need to pick up RDR2 at some point. You'll clip it? Thank you. Ooh, I like the reflection. What's this? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, can I not walk this way? Okay. What about this tree then? I picked some of the leaves. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, I've done it now. The green shrubs warm with tiny insects. They emit a sharp smell like into cloves and create a slight euphoria. The smell is rather soothing, really. Okay. You've already clipped the water bit, if that's what you mean. I, yeah, I, 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 I appreciate it. <laughs> water, it's good. I don't know what I'm doing with that. Can I go this way? There's nothing that way. <clears throat> hmm. What do I do next? So I've got... I've got some, uh... Oily leaves. I've got a plunger. I've got a leather pouch filled with the hottest peppers. I've got a very moldy mushroom. Kills fruits and vegetables within. Ah! Oh. You know what? You know what? I got it. I figured it out. You gotta melt it with the mushroom. Eh. Eh, eh, eh. 
The note did state that the mold emotion destroyed any vegetation it came into contact with. Let's see. Amazing! It's working! The mold is burning through the vines, destroying them. Oof. Got him. Oh god! Uh, hi! Can I just pass through? No, he's not gonna let me. Um... Do you want these? No. Uh, do, do you want some pe hot peppers? He's not gonna let me pass through. Let's get rid of that monster first. I, uh... Ooh. What could I do to get rid of the monster? The rain god is born dies somewhere. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yes, you thanks for reminding me of that. Where the rain god is born and died, there dwells a lord whose eyes hold treasure. I remember there was a guy where there was nothing in the eyes initially. There was like a stone. The stone face where the, the eyes had nothing in initially, but um... It was high up in that mountain. Is it down here? Yes, down here. And then to the... To the right. Are you the Lord? Can you help me? Let me touch your eyes. I've taken the bone. Oh. Oh no, it's, uh, it's not that guy then. Maybe... Ooh, hold on. I can't go up here. Because it's too cold. But what if... I... I feel so hot right now. I'm drenched in my own sweat. I think I can endure the cold and climb to the summit. Well, and now I'm up here. I pick one of the fruit. It's small and light and... Smells sweet. Um... I might have solved something else here. Or is this... The Lord? This just can't be a Lord. <clears throat> well, either way, I got... I got... I, I uh... If I get how to get up there... Thank God, think of the cycle of rain. Yes! Uh... Clouds? Is there somewhere up in the clouds I have to go? How do I get that? Or in the ocean? Perhaps? Mm. Before and after the clouds. I'm having a think. Having a little, a wee bit of a think to try and figure that one out. The sea is the right place. That's what I was thinking. Image of Neptune, perhaps? Maybe there's something here. According to the inscription, the rain god is born at sea and dies at sea. And these eyes are, must represent the eyes of the law that dwells in the sea. Supposedly they hold a treasure. Now I wonder what happens if I press them. Ah, that opened a hidden compartment. There's a note with a bottle, and what appears to be a toy soldier. The note reads, Dear Neptune, my brother Frankie and I have borrowed your legendary trident. We promise to return it uh, later. Meanwhile, we would like to offer you our best toy as tribute. I hope you'll have fun with it as we had. Yours, Rudy. I have taken the toy soldier. Might come in handy. I, I'm not sure why I need a toy soldier, but, uh, yeah. I certainly have one of those now. What can I use that for? And what do I have now? I don't need to be up here, I just wanna... I've got a, a very sweet fruit. It secretes a pinkish substance that, from its pores. It is very pliable and springy when squashed. So I have a very springy fruit. Um... <clears throat> What could that mean? What could it all mean? <clears throat> Do 
you want the fruit? <laughs> no. Maybe it's the fruit can be used to... Uh, against that particular monster guy. Because that's the next sort of big, uh, big thing for us to solve. We've done the rain god puzzle and got the soldier. We've done the puzzle on top of the mountain to get the uh, the, the squishy fruit. Hold on. Yeah, it is this way, isn't it? Do you want the fruit? I don't understand. No. I don't suppose you want a toy soldier either, do you? Oh god, it does! Okay! Let's see how brave you really are. Did not expect that to be the solution, but hey. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We got it. How do I get through here? Ah. Can I talk to the mushroom? <laughs> Can I look at the mushroom? Giant pink mushroom emanates a faint luminescence. Yes, God, did you ever solve the Orbra Din mystery? I'm still in the middle of it, uh, Rigodon. Um, I'm still doing that on Thursdays at the moment. I've done two parts of it. And I've solved just under half of the fates. Um, so I'm still, I mean, yeah, I'm still working on that. Next Thursday, I'll be, I'll be doing more, so. If you look at the toy, it, it looks pretty fierce. Okay. I haven't been around much, so I haven't been able to check my progress. Okay. I've, I've saved the uh, the VOD if you want to check my progress in Oberdin. Ah. What's this? Oops. One thing is mushrooms. Can I pick these up? I will pick one up. Take the climb inside the pool and die following the path revealed to me in the scrying pool. I'm able to navigate my way out of the cave. Hey! Hello. Hello, I'm Tabitha. Would you like to play? Do you like to win the caves too? Hello, Tabitha. No, not really. I don't. I'm glad to have left them. They are the most fun place. Did you know there are ghosts in depths of them? Uh, ghosts? No. Luckily, I haven't seen any inside. Aren't you afraid of ghosts? Afraid of them? My best friends are ghosts. They are funny and witty, and they like to play hide and seek. Wouldn't a ghost have a clear advantage in hide and seek? Oh, I'm a very good seeker. They have to try real hard to hide from me. Only problem is the last time we played, I left my toys in the caves and I can't remember where. If you happen to find them, could you please bring them back to me? Ah, yes, I, I could. Just so long as I don't run into any nasty ghosts. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Can't wait to have all my toys back. They're somewhere deep in the caves. Okay. I guess I'll have a little look then. Actually, uh, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna explore the other bit. No, I can't go that way. Okay! That sure is an image that I'm looking at right now. <laughs> um. Wow. That is unsettling. Hello? Hello, um, girl. Have you seen the woman in this picture? Nope. I see. Do you think you can let me pass? I will when I'm done with my candy. It's important that you allow me to pass. You got any candy, mister? No, I haven't. No candy at all? That's a pity for you, then. And she just grabs me and eats me. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, do you want this? Hey, I got you some candy. What's this? You chew on it? It's like gum. Sweet and rubbery. Hey, that's not bad, mister. Rather nice, actually. Oh, ouch, my filling. That's out now. My tooth hurts so bad. Uh. Can I just. Do you, Do you want this? I got you something for the toothache. What's this? Bunch your clove leaves. The oil will take the pain away. Just chew on them. You sure about this oil? The taste is pungent, but it should help. Hmm. It's yucky tasting, all right, but the pain is gone. Well, I'll be going now. I'm all out of candy and I'm rather tired. Goodbye, mister. Ten minutes later. That's a good way to <laughs> get around um, making her leave. I like it. 
Is that a tree? Try finding Tabitha's toys. I think that's probably the next big thing, isn't it? Oh. A woman appears from the bark of the tree, clad in leaves and vines. Oh, hi. Whoa. Hey, lady. Hello, savior. You are about to meet the ageless entity that menaces this world. You must destroy here. I'm no savior. You must be confusing me with someone else. I'm here looking for my daughter. You can't free her without defeating the entity. I was once a powerful dryad with a vast forest of my own. I was ripped away, taken from my forest. I, now I live under the entity's angry, watchful eye, bound to this miserable tree against my will. If you can defeat her, I'll be free. You and your daughter will be free. She's the goddess of vegetarianism. Hmm. Why is she doing this? What is she gaining by imprisoning us here? Oh, she's envious, you see. Envious of my emerald forest. Stretching from ocean to ocean, no one ever had such a forest to call their own. And she couldn't bear it, so she brought me here, bound me to this tree. I can no longer enjoy my bountiful forest. My loss is her joy. I... I don't know what to do. You have to help me. You have to help Doris. You have to help your daughter. We are all victims. Go down this path. Find her in the... in her garden. And destroy her. The creator's right here, Itamar, uh, if you want to ask about their enjoyment of pixels. Let's go find these uh, toys. Hmm. Sir Creator. <laughs> I wonder... How do I... Oh, plunger. <laughs> I wonder if I can use this plunger anywhere. Mm -hmm. Not there. There? I don't know. I don't actually know. How could I find Tabitha's toys? What if I... Head up here somewhere? <clears throat> no. I mean, these are, these are the only caves around here, aren't there? Try the mushrooms. Okay. Maybe I unclog the mushrooms from this bit. Or maybe I just grab them. It's then Gisodius, but it's worth checking if Tab of the Head are toys here. Yes, here it is, a collection of dolls. How she withstood the smell is beyond me. Okay, now I need to get out of here and return them to her. Alright, we got them. Nice. Um Did I not have them as an item? Okay. Here you go. I found your collection of dolls. Next time, try to not to leave them among the noxious mushrooms. That can't be good for you. Oh, thank you, sir. This doll is Mary, and this one's Lola, and this one's Martha. I'd like to have Martha as a gift for your trouble. Thank you. Martha's possessed, you know. <laughs> thank you. Uh, she's got the ghost of a real fruitcake inside her, but she's so fun. So you bet. I bet you'll like her. Martha's ghost loves to play games. Um, thank you again, I suppose. Well, that is a, I don't like the, I don't like how that looks, that's scary. <clears throat> Are you? Hello? Are you alone here, little girl? I am, you seem surprised. I was expecting someone else, uh, not as young as you. You're not safe here, you should go home. Not safe? I am home. This garden is your home, but the entity. I'm looking at it, aren't I? You are. You don't look ageless. Are you going to do as the dryad asked you to? Are you going to kill me? You heard us. 
I hear what the winds tell me. I am not going to kill you, of course not. I only want my daughter back. I was told you keep her hit here as a prisoner. Prisoner? No. Your daughter was separated from the others she came with. She's far away. Do you know where she is? I do. But you can't get to her. Not on foot. I would have helped the two of you if it hadn't been for the damage you did. The damage I did? When I dream, I see through the veil of other, to other worlds, far away. My mind expands. If I want something to happen, I make it so. Your machine hummed in my dream, made my dream collapse around your daughter, then she was gone. I didn't mean for it to happen. Your dream? The President's Chamber. Oh, it wasn't an astrophysical phenomenon we detected and studied, but a biological one. It was you, your mind. Your daughter is stranded in a world between the voids. Her friends died here, on this world. I saw. I saw the bodies. When I ran the experiment the second time, the same thing happened, didn't it? That's how I ended up here. Yes. If you brought us here, why can't you send us back? Your machines weakened me. This your second experiment was worse than the first. But don't lose hope. Oh, there's hope to cling to? Destroy the box that hums. It came when you ran your first experiment and landed in a nearby world that has recently been swept by the destructive nebulous void. That world is now stuck in time. I destroyed the box myself, but when I get near it or dream of it, I faint. What wicked devices you created. The box that hums. It must be the Tesla magnet. Evelyn was equipped with, with it to, to conduct experiments. There's a tear in the void to the west. Go there, and it will take you to that world. You'll find your magnet where it landed, in a bar's restroom of all places. Find a way to get to, to the sewers, where the void has receded to. There it pulsates and can demolish it. Now go quick. You will you send my daughter and me back? First, you'll need to agree, promise me something. When you just return to your world, destroy the machines that caused all this. Never construct them again. I agree. That seems like a fair deal. I'll do it. You have my word. Thank you. The path to the west is open. Before I go, one more question. The Dryad believes you brought her here to punish her. Daris thinks he's a prisoner too. Is that true? Oh. You might be interested in a possessed teddy. Hmm. I don't know. The Dryad was greedy and selfish. Called the whole forest her own, and refused entry for people fleeing disaster. I had to intervene. Darius's crimes were just as bad. Someone I've just met. Hmm. So they were right. You took them from their homes to punish them. Someone had to do something. I only expect you to understand. No, we'll go now. The humming is getting worse. The path to the wet is open. I'm going to see if I can find... Who might be interested in a possessed doll? Hold on. Are you interested in the possessed doll? It doesn't work, no. Who did I just meet that could be interested in it then? <clears throat> oh, someone I've met. For some reason, I read just there. Who have I met that would be interested? a good question. It's my yeah, you can have the possessed doll. She's called Martha. I don't think there's anyone else here. I have to go back. Go all the way back. Oh, I know. I know who'd be interested. Oh, Timothy. My dear boy. I have a gift for you. Here you go, my son. Noah, you're back. Yes, do you want this? So you won't feel too alone? You said you're bored with your other toys. Oh, thanks, Sarah. I like it a lot. And guess what? While you're away, I've met another ghost. His name's Rory. Rory says he used to work in a bar. Sadly, something awful has happened to him, and now he's in the morgue. That's tragic. What happened to him? He doesn't remember. Says he got drunk and somehow swallowed the key to the bar. 
Can you believe that? Poor Rory. Anyway, thanks for the teddy bear, Noah. You're very kind. Hmm. <clears throat> if if Rory's a ghost and he's around here, then maybe he's one of the skeletons in uh, the castle? I'm going to have a little look. Can't reach the cage. Maybe I can use the plunger to reach it. Can I not do that? Rory is in some place far away. Okay, never mind then. I guess I'll go to that other bit then. Um, I'll go to where I need to be. Uh, up, up, and right. <clears throat> Who did the music for this then? Um, because I, I, I want to look up and see what else they've done. Um, I, I really like it. Maybe the plunger will be used for something in the bar. I'm having to think about that, actually. It goes by dial-up for murder. Okay. I will have to look up that person. Can I go this way? There's like another little bit here. It's very cold all of a sudden. Oh god. This is, uh, that's an interesting, is that a dragon? Is that a dragon in there? Through a tear to another world. Let's go. All right, we're in the, uh, in the other world. It's locked. Okay. Quest for Glory 2 inspired. Oh, nice. That's locked as well. Is this the morgue? Tell us about the mot rotten vegetables and things left down the staircase. I'd rather not go up there. Well, you should go up there. Alright, oh, that's the way out. Eh? Game suddenly goes up in scale and it's like Skyrim Remastered. Ah, hospital. Oh, I like the doors. <laughs> Honestly, I found all the doors I've come across inside the hospital to either locked, blocked, or jammed. Or barricaded. Uh, only, door, only the door to the morgue was open. It's eerily silent here. Let's have a look at the dead body then. The tag attached to the toe reads Rory Dixon. Oh, I skipped that too early. I need to get inside there, don't I? Um. Ooh. So the key should be in his mouth or throat, according to Tim. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Unclenching jaws, inserting hand. I got the key. Thank you, Rory, for keeping it safe. This guy's buff. This guy's like got a he's got an eight pack. How did how did how did Rory die again? He got too drunk or something, didn't he? Guy is hench. Can I get this garbage? I guess there are body parts in there. That's where they keep the bodies? Diagram of a human body? Don't forget to wash your hands. Sounds reasonable. After all, they deal with the dead here. I should wash my hands. Even if... Much better. Key. Fits, I can get to the bar now. The bar... A bar stuck in time. I would expect it to... Uh, to smell dead and stale like the rest of the world. That the beer left on the counter should reek of formaldehyde. Instead, it smells alive with a whiff of perfume, albeit a cheap one. I wonder what happened here. Is the girl entity responsible? Someone as powerful as her could bring ruin to an entire planet. Stop time itself. Or maybe she's innocent. 
like she wants me to believe. Whichever it is, I'll do what she, she asked. I'll find the Tesla magnet and destroy it. After all, only she can get me home. I wish I didn't have to rely on her. Now, she said the magnet was in the restrooms. Best start there. Hmm. Ah, this is where the plunger will come in handy. This one's locked. And what about this one? I shouldn't take the Tesla magnet with me. I need to think of a way to get it into the sewer system. Hold on. What's the, what do these say? Can I examine any of this? <laughs> Hammer and sickle. Yes, it's working! By unclogging the toilet, I'll be able to destroy the magnet. I've already done that then, okay. And then I guess I just... Flush it! Yeah. Right, now it's flushing. The Tesla magnet is small enough to fit down the pipes and reach the sewers, where it will be destroyed by the void. I should return to the entity now. No worries, I got it. <laughs> Can I get down there? like it. There must be another way down to the sewers, right? That's, uh, that'll be the sewers down there. Oh no, it's not, oh, not down there. Um, is there a way? It's got a great soundtrack. Also, hey Baker Does, how you doing? Um, did I miss anything? Can I grab that? No time to sweep the floor. How do I get to the sewers, though? Is there a way to the sewers? Sarah is located in the game game Steam folder. Nice. Um. Where's the way to the the sewers? That's that's what I'm only thing I'm confused about. Just your normal trash bin. I can return to the entity. Oh, okay. So I don't I don't actually need to get to the sewers myself. That makes sense actually. Oops, did I did he click the wrong thing there? I did. I can no longer. I no longer feel it. The burning sensation in my mind that your device caused. I've destroyed it. Flush it down the toilet to the sewers. You were the one who helped devise it, but thank you for getting rid of it. Will you keep your word? Will you send my daughter and me back home? Yes. I never had any t intention of keeping you here. What about the others you kept as prisoners here? They must stay. Don't entangle your fate with theirs. I hope you'd let them go, but I guess there's nothing I can do about it. I'm ready to go back home. Could you, what's the word, teleport my daughter here from wherever, whatever world she's landed on? You will meet her back home. Before I send you back, I remind you of the promise you made to me. Destroy your machines that harm me in my dreams. I will destroy them, but others will rebuild them. Hmm, I'll just have to deal with them when they do. But do warn them. Warn them that their signs can be harmful to others, harmful to me. I'll warn them. Alright then. Get ready now, Noah. You might feel a slight discomfort. Farewell. Oh. Evelyn, you're back. Dad, where have I been? I don't remember a cold, dark cave. Am I really home? You are. Are you alright? Are you hurt? I'm fine. What happened? I got separated from the rest of the, the team. Are they here too? No, sweetheart. They didn't make it. They're dead. Oh, Dad, that's terrible. Julian, Dave, gone. I'm so sorry. I don't understand what happened. I came after you. I had to find you. I met this alien on the other side. An alien? We were wrong. What we would believe were space-time waves were really the new neural oscillations of this powerful alien. We were unintentionally interfering with her dreams, her mind, and this brought about everything that followed. Dad, that sounds like madness. Oh, I know what it sounds like. I can barely comprehend it myself, but it's not over yet. There's one more thing to do. What is that? The alien agreed to send us back home safely if I promise to destroy my lab equipment. He's kept a word. What are we going to do then? I'm going to keep my promise. 
<coughs> the test we had run harmed. The test we had run harmed her, caused her pain. Oh, I see. We didn't know. We never would have done it if we'd known. Are you okay with this then? We rested a moment to recover. You had quite an ordeal. No, Dad, I don't think this can wait. Let's go then. Let's do it. Void Breach! That was a cute game. Thank you for, for sending me a key for that, Owly. Uh, if you would like to uh, purchase this game yourself, it's uh, available on Steam. Um, I, what is the price on it currently? Um, I might be able to look at my phone, actually. Hey, I did it! Thank you, Dragon Catman, for the 50 bits. Um, you believe me now? Bye for now. Had a good time watching the game. Thank you for watching, O'Neill. Very much appreciated. Uh, yeah, I had fun with that. Thank you for sending it over. Uh, is Aviv is your name, right? Because we we've been in contact for quite a while, as you've been like keeping me updated with with the game and stuff. Nine dollars right now on Steam or itch. I assume that if they buy it on itchio, you get a, a a larger share of the cut. Um, so I suppose if you can buy it. On itch.io, you get more of the cut, right? Is that is that how it works? I can't remember. I'm not a, a developer myself, so I think I've heard that somewhere though. Could be. You don't really know. Okay. Well, either way, as long as you're buying it, that's a good thing, I suppose. But yeah, pick up the game. It's cute. It's worth playing. I'll be. I'll be. I'll make sure to spread the word on Twitter as well. Uh, um, it was a nice stream. Thank you, Itamar. This has been a fun stream. Three and a half hours. Thanks for playing. It was funny. I I'm glad you found it funny. Did you enjoy my voices for your characters? <laughs> I'm not much of a voice actor, but I, I do it the occasional voice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was a good time. Very. I'm glad. Um, so that's, this, this is probably the, the, a good point for me to wrap things up. Um, we've been going for three and a half hours. Um, I, I'll just go over what I'm, what my next stream will be, and maybe get a raid going on someone else. I think Oceans is still streaming, so I'll send some people over there. Um, but yes, I am going to be streaming more Dead Space tomorrow with my girlfriend Maddie. Um, hope you guys come along for that because that's a, it's a lot of fun, a lot of screaming. It's horror, it's horror game with monsters jumping out. It's fun. Please come along for that. Um, that'll be happening at 7.30, no, 8.30 BST, not BST, GMT, <laughs> 8.30 GMT tomorrow. So please come along for that. And uh, let's get a, let's see, let's see who is, who is still streaming? Is Ocean still streaming? Yes, he is. Let's send some people over. Yeah, we're going to raid Ocean's. Um... What should we red phrase them with? Just say mem, m e e m, mem. That's what we, the red phrase will be, because that's his. That's his whole meme. Um, it, he's got a meme, the mem meme. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, oceans, capital M's. Yes, make sure to do that. It would read ocean blue F T W. That's it. Let's go. We'll send everyone over. Thanks for the stream. Are you ever get, giving the game? Oh, yeah, it's been good, hasn't it? All right, let's get this right going. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Dead Space. <laughs>